うん。Firstly, I would like to say thank you for tuning into this first episode. It really means a lot that you're here and you're taking the time out of your busy day or night、uh, to listen and watch my video.、Um, so, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. My name is Sanchez Murray. I'm a photographer based out of Brooklyn, New York. I currently have relocated back to Texas, which is where I'm originally from,、uh, because of coronavirus.、Uh, don't worry, I'm not sick. I don't have coronavirus. There are other outliers as to why I'm back in Texas. But anyway,、uh, I've always wanted to make a YouTube channel. And so now I feel like I kind of have some momentum、uh, to jump out there and kind of start it. So I think I have an idea of where I want the channel to go, but I'm also willing to be very flexible with it and just kind of grow with the channel itself、uh, and allow this、uh, as an opportunity for me to grow as an artist、uh, and kind of like sculpt, you know.、Uh, My voice as an artist. And so, without further ado,、uh, let's, kinda, let's hop into the first video.、Um, here we go. Hey guys, and welcome to the second portion of the first episode. Today, I want to talk to you all about one of the most famous and well known medium format cameras. That legend is the Hasselblad 500CM. Admittedly, this is one of my favorite cameras in general to work with. I'm going to list off some of my favorite features of the camera and why that's the case. Now, you may be thinking,、uh, yeah, it's a Hasselblad. Who wouldn't want this camera? And you're so right, but outside of the mere utterance of its name and its ability to send chills down your spine, I want to talk about its massive modularity capabilities. One of the most important aspects for me is being able to change out the viewfinders. I have both a waist level and eye level viewfinder. And honestly, they both yield different results and serve different purposes. I found that for my style, the waist level finder works very well for landscape and some architecture, whereas the eye level finder works very well for portraiture. The next spec on the list refers back to the modularity of the camera, and that is the film back interchangeability. You have an array of film back options that can suit your shooting style. You're not locked into shooting only color or black and white if you have a composition that warrants a particular look that you want. The only downside to this is the price point. They can range anywhere from two to maybe even $400. On top of that, you also have the ability to shoot both 120 and 220 film stocks, though 220 isn't anywhere near popular as it was 15 to 20 years ago. You may be able to find some in circulation online, like eBay. My third spec is the portability of the camera. And the overall weight of it. It weighs about 600 grams body only, and with the standard 80 millimeter lens tacked onto it, it bumps it up to about 1.5 kilograms. That's pretty darn light. On top of that, it's a relatively small camera, and so holding this one in hand is no issue, for me at least. And for the average size hands, I don't see it being too big of a hassle. All in all, there are a ton of features I could go on and on about, but these are by far my favorite ones. And we'd love to hear about your experience with the Hasselblad 500CM or any of the 500 series cameras. I'm going to post up some pictures that I've taken with this camera over the months, and hopefully, you'll find some that you like. Thanks for tuning into the first episode of Scan and Deliver, and I hope to see you next time. Cheers.